Hello everyone, so today's video is going to be my wrap up for April, all the manga I read this month. So I don't think this video is going to be too long because I actually kind of want to do this a little bit differently. So this month I happened to read three series that were all very similar, or they were different but they had very similar themes and I kind of want to talk about that all together. I didn't intend to read these manga with the same themes, I just happened to do that. And then once I get through that, we'll talk about the other things I read this month. So the first three series I read in April were Princess Jellyfish. Uh, I read the complete series, volumes one through nine. Um, some of them are omnibus volumes, some of them are just regular volumes. I think only nine is a regular volume. But I read the whole series this month. And Boys Run the Riot, one through four, the entire series of this. And then the entire series of Love Me for Who I Am, so five volumes of this. And the reason I want to talk about all of these together is because they all kind of have the same theme of the clothes you wear representing how you feel inside. So I'll give a brief synopsis of each series. Princess Jellyfish is about a group of otaku girls who all live together in this boarding house. Uh, and then this guy here who likes to wear women's clothing um, kind of disrupts their life and introduces them into the world of fashion. And we come to find out that the main character here actually kind of uses her love of jellyfish. She's obsessed with jellyfish. She can channel that love of jellyfish into making clothing and she finds out that she's kind of successful at that. So that's what this is. Boys Run the Riot is about this boy who is trans and he meets this other boy and they make a fashion brand together. And Love Me For Who I Am is about a non-binary teenager who is introduced to this maid cafe where all the people who work there were assigned male at birth. Um, they may identify as male, they may not, they may identify as trans um, or something else, and the main character comes to find themselves there um, in wearing the maid clothing. So if you couldn't tell, all of these manga have the theme of how what you wear kind of represents you and can change you. In Princess Jellyfish, the main character comes to realize that she might like wearing clothes or she might not like wearing certain other clothes. Um, but either way, she kind of discovers this about herself and all the other characters in here also kind of discover themselves through fashion, whether it's making the fashion or wearing the clothes. And I, what I would call the secondary main character, he also discusses why he wears women's clothing and how that has to do with his identity, what elements of his past and present kind of influence him to choose to wear women's clothing. He wears it more often than not, honestly. And yeah. And in Boys Run the Riot, the main character uses clothing to represent himself because at school he feels like he can't really present himself as the boy he is. He has to conform to what the school wants him to wear, stuff like that. Um, so he chooses to make a fashion brand to kind of represent these feelings and also wear the clothing that he wants to wear. And this one might be the most interesting because it gives you a bunch of different ideas of why these people choose to wear um, the maid dresses and there's a diff couple different points of view on that. Um, like I mentioned, some of the characters are trans, some of them are not trans, they just like wearing the clothing. Some of them just like cosplay, so they like to wear uh, the maid outfit. So yeah, I kind of wanted to talk about all of these together because they all kind of discuss the same theme, so I feel like I'd be repeating myself if I talked about them separately. They are obviously all very different. Princess Jellyfish is very funny. Um, I was laughing out loud at several points. The characters in this are fantastic. I mean, the characters in all of these are great, but the characters in this are probably the best. Um, I really liked seeing the growth of all of these characters. Um, the story is interesting. This one is definitely longer than these other two series, so it's more of a commitment, but also you feel more invested in the story and the characters. Boys Run the Riot adds an interesting social media aspect that's honestly kind of scary. Um, it discusses social media um, being forced to come out on social media or being forcefully outed on social media. And they also use social media to promote their brand. That's really interesting. Like I said, kind of scary, but that's the different element that this one provides. Uh, and this one explores a lot of different characters in a very small series. Like I said, it's only five volumes, but there are very many characters that are introduced. Um, their various issues are introduced and then explored and then resolved. And I think they're all well done for the most part. This one does get pretty dark at the end though, just be aware. Um, I think the ending is fine, but it does get a little bit dark in the middle there. But yeah, I just wanted to talk about all of these together because it was interesting that they all had the same theme. This was not planned, I just happened to read these. I did kind of 
want to read Boys from the Riot after Princess Jellyfish because I knew they had a similar thing, but this one was just a coincidence. And honestly, I don't care about fashion or anything, but I did find the topics and the discussions interesting in these manga. So if any of these sound like something you'd enjoy or if you have been looking to explore manga that have similar themes for some reason, then maybe try these out. I don't know. I would recommend all of these for different reasons. So this is how I started my month with a very interesting coincidence. And the next thing I read was Akka by Anatsume Ono. So this is a six volume long series along with a two volume spin-off continuation prequel manga. Um, so this started out very, very slow. It's about this guy who is kind of the vice president, I guess, vice chairman of a department that kind of explores and keeps in check the other, all the other territories. So there's 13 territories in this world or whatever in this country. And he's kind of in charge of going to all the territories, making sure everything is as it should be. And he eventually comes to find that he's kind of involved in a coup or he might not be involved in a coup. There's rumors of a coup, something like that. And he becomes more and more involved in that. I will say this starts out very, very, very slow. For some reason, there's lots of focus on food, which I kind of like as a world building standpoint. The world building in this manga is very good, but there's lots of focus on food and it's only six volumes long and there's a lot of focus on food, which like I said, it's interesting to see like the cultural aspects, why like there's one um, section or one territory in this country where all the people are a lot bigger. So all their food is bigger and they kind of talk about the food in that way and all the other different territories have different types of food. So that's interesting but it's focused on a lot. <laughs> and I don't think it needs to be focused on that much, uh, especially since the start of this is so slow. Um, it does get really good at the end. I really enjoyed this towards the end. Um, I mean, I enjoyed the whole thing, but the ending was a lot better. The last three volumes were a lot better than the first three volumes. And then Akka PS is a two volume series. It's kind of a prequel. Um, actually, I think it's this first volume is definitely a prequel. It follows like a bunch of the big characters and how they kind of came to be. I can't remember their titles or I would tell you their titles, but how they came to be where they are at the beginning of Akka. I liked this volume a lot more than the second volume, which follows other characters kind of during, well, it's also like before this, the time period of this, but also during it, I think if I can remember right. But yeah, I thought the first volume of this was better than the second volume of it, which is interesting because I thought the second half of Akka was better than the first half of Akka. Okay, anyway. So yeah, Natsume Ono's work always makes me think a lot. So I'll probably continue to think about this and come to different conclusions. Um, I also have quite a few more of her volumes to read, so I'll get to those eventually. But for now, I enjoyed this series for the most part. I had my issues with it, but it's pretty good. And then the last thing I read this month is probably the only thing I would not recommend <laughs> this month. So that is Pink by Kyoko Okazaki. I don't know how to describe this. This is about a woman who is a sex worker. Um, so it's very graphic. So if that's going to bother you, don't read it. Um, but she has a pet crocodile and she gets involved with this guy who is also um, involved with her stepmother. So it's kind of slice of lifey a little bit following those two characters and like kind of try to figure out what they're going to do with their lives. And then everything falls apart at the end and nothing good happens. I really don't know who I would recommend this to. There's definitely something being said by the author, obviously. I don't know if I understand what the message is here, um, but I didn't like it very much and I would not recommend it. And I don't know what I'm going to do with this volume, but for now, I'm just going to say I would probably not read this again. So that's kind of a negative note to end this video on, but those are all the things I read this month. I don't know the total number of volumes off the top of my head. I'll include it in the title probably. Uh, but yeah, let me know if you've read any of these, what you thought of them, or what you read in April, what your favorite read was, what your least favorite re read was. I'd love to read those comments down below. But that's going to be it for this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!